The Minister of Justice may be aware that Section 16 of the Parliament of Canada Act states that every person who gives, offers, or promises to any member of the Senate any compensation for services relating to a proceeding contract claim or controversy before the Senate is guilty of an indictable offence. Does the Minister of Justice believe the PM's former Chief of Staff may have committed this crime when he gave Senator Duffy $90,000 as part of a cover-up deal? I you know, Mr. Speaker, once again, it will come as no surprise uh, to my colleague, the member opposite, that I reject much of the premise of the member opposite's uh, pre, uh, preamble. But let me just say this. The Prime Minister was not aware of this reimbursement until after it became public through media reports. Uh, the Chief of Staff has tendered his resignation. Uh, there are two independent authorities looking into this matter. Uh, we'll allow them the time to uh, do their work, and Mr. Speaker, we'll await uh, their findings. The Honourable Member for Toronto, Danforth. I'd like to try again with the Minister of Justice. Let's remind ourselves that the PMO handed out $90,000 to keep a senator quiet. Mr. Speaker, we have another provision that's relevant. Section 119 of the Criminal Code states that any person who offers an office holder any money, valuable consideration, or employment in respect of anything done or omitted by that person in their official capacity is guilty of an offence. Does the Minister agree that the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff may have committed this crime. The Honourable Once again, Mr. Speaker, I reject much of the premise of the question of the member opposite. Let me say a number of things. One, the Prime Minister became aware of this issue uh, last week after media reports surfaced. Right now, there are two independent uh, authorities, independent authorities looking into this matter, and let's let, give them the opportunity to do that. 